Hello guys and welcome back on the dap world. After connecting the wallet with application, let's try to interact with our program from web app. Add these lines in the app.js file from the react project. In the first line we have imported the anchor and in the second line we import some required web3 modules from Solana's web3 library. Note that after importing the above modules, you may get an error while running the application. This can be solved by using the low version of React scripts. The current React script uses 5.0.1 whereas you should use 4.0.3. You can replace this version in the package.json file from React app. After updating the version, you should install the dependencies again. So delete the node modules folder and hit npm install command in the terminal. This will install the dependencies again from the list of package.json file. And when you reinstall the dependencies, make sure you have installed Anchor and Solana Web3 again. In order to interact with the program, our web app should know what the program contains and where is the program is stored. This can be found in the file generated when we deploy the program. When you deploy the program, you should see a JSON file in the target IDL folder from the Anchor project. Copy the file and paste it in the react project in app.js level that is in src folder. Now import this file in the app.js file as following. Now let's define some required variables in the app.js file. The first one is Solana program and key pair which is imported from the anchors web3. Then the next one is we will create a key pair for the account that will hold the variable data. Let's save this key pair information in my account variable. Now let's get the program's ID from the ideal file that we have imported and console it. The next one defines the network that we are using and the last one controls how we want to acknowledge when the transaction is done. Note that if you have deployed the program on local net then you should set the network to localhost and also change the network in the wallet. Also make sure that you have Solana test validator node running in the another terminal tab. To interact with the program, we need a provider. So let's define a function which initializes and returns the provider. This function will return the provider. You must be wondering why we haven't initialized this at the top and why make such a function. The answer is to define a provider, we need a wallet. And we can get the wallet only if the user has connected phantom with our web app. Of course you can eliminate the use of phantom wallet and just use the Solana's wallet adapter as we discussed earlier. Now let's try to fetch the value using this function. First create a state to store the retrieved value. Then define the function as follows. This function is doing a lot of work here, let's understand one by one. We have got the instance of provider and set it to the provider as constant. Getting the instance of our program with the help of parameters that we have imported above. Then fetching the account where our value is stored. After that setting the retrieved value to state declared above. And then consoling the output. And lastly we handle the error if any and setting the retrieved value as null. We haven't yet called this function, so this won't run or give output. Let's first finish the frontend and then call these functions in the next tutorial.